hello guys this is amagi and this will be a quick tutorial on how you can animate a face that will loop forever without any scene using driver expression before we get started there are a few things that you need to remember that is the frame rate that we are going to use in this tutorial is 30 frame per second and the end frame must be divisible by by the 30 or the frame rate you opt for and the last thing that you remember must is the orientation of this face this is how it looks on the side view and this is how it looks on the front view now we are good to go so let's get started first bring in the face model that you want to animate i will use this model that i have downloaded from sketchfab i will put link of this model in the description of this video now hit shift E on your keyboard and go to the armature and add a single bone. Check in front option of paper display of this bone so you can see it clearly. Now go to the edit mode, rotate it on minus 90 degree, scale it down. Now extrude this twice on Y axis. Now we are done editing the bones. Tab out of edit mode and go to the object mode. Change the bone type to B bone and then again go to the pose mode select the middle bone change the uh, divide this bone into 10 segments so you can have more bandiness to your face now we are getting to the most confusing part of this video that is expression you will have no problems if you are closely uh, following my all steps starting from the orientation of this face but I will strongly recommend to do experiment on your own that's how you grow so select the first one and hit any your keyboard to open this panel change the quantarian to XYZ Euler now type in uh, this expression in this Z rotation of this bone. I'll quickly type this. Now copy this driver and paste it to the X rotation of this bone. We will make some changes to this driver. We will offset it by minus 5 and close this bracket. So what it will do, it will first uh, uh, displace on X location then rotate on Z rotation copy this driver again and paste it on Z rotation as well we will make small changes to this driver again we will replace minus 5 to minus 10 now copy this driver and paste it on Z rotation of third bone as well. Now when you are done pasting all this driver, your animation should look like this. If not, you must be making some mistake. Please rewatch this tutorial. You might be able to find your mistake. 
Now all you have to do is to bind your mesh to this bone. So tab out of pose mode and select your face model first and then select this bone and hit Ctrl P on your keyboard and choose the option that says with automatic weights. This will bind your mesh to your bone. And now hit again space bar on your keyboard and and you are done now if you have learned something from this video please give it a big thumbs up see you again